All right, guys, check it out before he sprayed off. We've got the three month update for Turtle Wax spray. Let's check it out. I don't want this on my driveway. Oh, We're gonna spray it off and hand wash it at the house. So you guys can see that. I'm gonna try to hear you up because the place is gonna get packed. A lot of people here today at the spray car walk. She is hit. This is a filthy car to test products on. Let's go. Let's check it out. Hey, no space. If I hit so, let me put some water on it. There we go. There we go, now we got water. Brake car wash is packed today. It's hard to get some filming in. I'll try to get all this coal off my vehicle. So we'll go home and walk. Hand wash it and see what it looks like from there. All right, guys, welcome to Uzulu Garage today. Today's video is going to be three month update on Turtle Wax Ceramic Spray. Uh, we already sprayed it out the car wash with some water. I accidentally put some soap. I wanted to get all that coal off. Got some of it off. Uh, ran out of quarters. And this place is getting packed too. Everybody's at the spray car wash today. We're gonna hand wash it. We'll show uh, the water beating with the uh, at home, and then we'll wash it up, and we'll see what it looks like. Plus, do what we're gonna do too. Different. We're gonna see what it looks like, and then if we're not getting a lot of beating and stuff, and we see that I think it's failing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a turtle wax ceramic um, soap that they have. That's supposed to be a booster. Because those products too that they put out with uh, the Turtle Wax ceramic line, they're all supposed to be, you know, work together as uh, basically a team to uh, boost your ceramic spray or your polish with the ceramic in it that they have out. And then uh, what I'm going to do is wash it with Turtle Wax soap that has no wax in it and conditioner as far as I know. It doesn't say that in a bottle and we'll try it out. Man, a lot of traffic. Just getting off work today on Sunday. Man, I swear, no one does a dang speed limit. They go under the speed limit. All right, I'm back. Got the car in the driveway from the spray car wash. I did a terrible job spraying it down to get some of the stuff off. I'll clean my driveway later. But uh, let's look at it real quick. You can see the specs again, just like last time. Right there. All right. You guys can see how dirty it is. Got some tar sticking to it a little bit. Got a bad rust spot, too. That stuff just eats, just eats away at it. Check it out. Sorry about the glare. I get the, the sun from the west. All right, we'll look at this. Today's nice, man. It finally, it's March and we got, we're up to over 50 today. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'll be doing the water test too by myself, washing it up. My kid uh, left a few minutes ago to go pick up some pizza. 
Okay, and plus two, if you didn't watch the other video on the one month update, I, last time I washed it with this right here, the bull shine. And then after washing it, the sheeting and beating pretty much kind of went away. And after it rained for a couple days after I made that video, the beating came back, which is kind of weird. So I'm thinking this has something in it that will uh, mask it. But it did, the soap does work good, but for doing a test like this, it did mask it. So that's what I'm thinking. And that's what it looks like. And then, so yeah, that's what we're doing for the update. And then what we're going to be doing is washing it with the turtle wax super foaming car wash right here i looked at it says high gloss on air shine but i looked on the back i didn't see anything if there's any wax or conditioners in it i don't think so but that's what we're gonna use and we'll do another water test before i wash it man that thing's filthy and then what i'm gonna do too if it's showing signs of weakness and uh it looks weak like it's dying out on us what we're gonna do is i'm gonna rewash the car with their hybrid solution uh ceramic wash and wax and then if that's the case we'll see if this brings back that uh, ceramic spray or by itself what this will this do because basically you know anytime you use a ceramic even your sealant you're gonna always want to maintain it with uh, a drying aid you know or soap like this with some wax in it or you know on the all detailing spray like um turtle wax uh, i believe there's spray wax ceramic spray wax stuff like that if you're using this line or your favorite kind of detailing spray like a bead maker stuff like that but for this test i try not to use those things i try to see how long this product will last for you guys and for me so we know how long it lasts and granted anytime you do use a booster these products are going to last longer for you and that's what you want anyway but this basically for the test i try to stay away for that all right let me grab the get set up and we'll do a water test before I wash it. All right, we're gonna go flat. We're gonna go on at hood like always. All right, base looks the same. It's not bad, really. And the beads are not round, round. Got a little ob shape to it. Let me go to uh, switch to a different setting. All right, let's go to shower. I mean, it's... I mean, it's running off slowly. Plus the hood's on an angle anyway. I do have it on the windows. Getting a little bit of beating. But that could be some of that dust. What I use in the washer fluid. I use that Rain X. So that's going to help. All right, let's do more of a flat panel. That's dead. Door. It's a little bit beating on the fender. Seems like it always does. Window. Look at that guy just chilling. What are you doing? What's up? Get some sunshine. Yeah, I bet. All right, let's try it on the trunk since it's pretty much flat. Yeah. I don't know, man. What do you think, guys? I think it's showing, kind of showing that it might be fan a little bit. Let me try a different setting. Let's go flat. And granted, it is the vehicle is dirty. It's still there. It's not as strong. say let's go mist nah, nothing we'll wash it and then we'll go to mist again we'll do it again real quick yeah not much all right let's wash it up and then we'll do this water test again yeah turtle wax soap you can pick it up at advance all for five dollars for that big jug that's pretty good Look at that, man. It, it cleaned those black uh, specks right off. Watch. Look at that. I'm gone. No effort. That's beautiful. That's nice. Yep, right off. No effort. I barely have any pressure on this. That is cool. Oh, yeah. This thing is hit. This thing needs a detail. 
those two guys um, with the vehicle being this dirty i want to change the water again so basically one batch of uh, water with the soap on one side and the other side i'm gonna get a bit of get a fresh some fresh water and plus two what i'll do is i'll take my mitt and i'll rinse it off with the holes before i put it in my bucket because i'm only using one bucket i can figure i bring up those tips because look how dirty it is Stuff works great. Gone. Rinse it out before I put it in a bucket. All right, finally got it washed up. Check it out. It was good. That soap too. Uh, cleaned up pretty good actually. Man, it was filthy. I know my tires are still dirty, but it's gonna rain um, tomorrow night anyway. I might do them anyway and clean it up and rinse it down a little bit, but. It's gonna rain. It's gonna get filthy again in, in a day. Check it out. You can see how clean it is. It looks pretty decent. Can see how clean it is. Bad. I mean, I can do a little bit better job washing it, but it came out pretty good. All right, let's do the water test and see what it looks like and see if we have to use the soap. All right, let's go. You guys ready? Hmm. Cheating slowly. Right there. Let's do this. Ah, through the door. Right, let's go let's go to shower again let's see what it looks like see the water bouncing off check it out it's sheeting off fast but it's not beating at all on the hood of course the hood always takes the punishment look at that it's slow i think it's dying out what do you guys think we'll go mist over here let me adjust my holes yeah you can see it let's go mist I think it's pretty much it's there but not there you know what i mean it's got some life into it left but not much let's see if we get a better angle over here for you guys we'll go mist right here no nah, it's not beating center let's go flat You know it's 50 50 i think it's some of it's still there but it's fading away i think maybe the way i'm looking at it man maybe ah uh, it's hard to say maybe another two weeks to a month left in it i think it's done so yeah so i think what do you guys think it's not beating at all a little bit not much It's cheating, but not fast. Look at that. Yeah, it's dead, pretty much. Yeah. Stare a little bit, guys. All right. Well, like I said, let's uh, let's wash it. Yeah. So let's wash it with the ceramic wash real quick, and then we'll see what it looks like. I'm gonna try it again, and then do the water test a little bit real quick. But yeah, I think uh, three months, and uh, with this harsh winter, it uh, it took uh, 
it wiped it out a little bit pretty good actually um but yeah like i said though if you it, it still doesn't mean it's a bad product it's still a good product if you know my test i didn't use nothing to boost it but if you boost it you know once a month when you washed it every time you washed it use their um the, either the ceramic spray again use their a wash we'll check see if the wash helps or use their uh ceramic spray wax stuff like that will help boost it and keep it lasting longer this is just a real real test for my environment industrial environment and see what kind of how long it will last in my environment um instead of you know those spray panels with with they spray brake cleaner or they spray even brake fluid on there and you know stuff from the road um that's not going to tell you how long the product's going to last it, it might give me a little idea the chemical strength of it but for if it's going to last a month or two you know right here this is the way to go even if the uh, product even fails on a, a panel test doesn't mean the product's not going to last in a real environment it all depends really all these tests just give us an idea of how long a product lasts. And plus, too, I enjoy, you know, testing stuff out like this and showing you guys. All right, I got the bucket empty. Let's uh, wash it with this soap. Pretty much, I'm not going to go with the soap. We'll do this. A, we'll do a separate video on this. So right now, I'm going to add, it says add three ounces to your bucket. I'm going to shake it up real good, and then we'll wash it. We'll do a different video, uh, video on it when the vehicle's dirty, and we can wash it and see how it does for cleaning and for a little bit of protection. I can even do a different vehicle that has nothing on there. But uh, yeah, I'd rather maybe put it in a foam cannon and, and see how it does. We'll make a couple of videos on it. All right, let's get going. All right, make sure you guys continue to watch and see how the soap does to the car. And that pretty much, um, after this video, that pretty much be it for the ceramic spray. And I do want to do a uh, detail whole vehicle with the other products. That's my plan for this vehicle. Since it's warm, getting warm up, I'm going to throw a, a product on here. I'll do a video on it. All right. Got to wet it all down. I'm going to be out here for a while. One vehicle. Why don't I wash the wife's Jeep, uh, the wife's Jeep today? But make no videos. Just enjoy the process. And then get ready to go play some hockey tonight. All right. I'll wash the hood and then I'll show you the hood. I'll wash the roof and then we'll show you the, the, the hood. Hopefully you guys are out enjoying the day, getting some detail done. At least I can wash it quick anyway. One thing's for sure, the car looks great. I mean, clean-wise, it still has a nice gloss to it, actually. That's what I think. So I think the product is still there. It just is starting to break down pretty good. So I'm thinking four months in my nasty environment, you're going to get out of it. So, which is fine. You know for a, a product not expensive and it works pretty decent and you can boost it all the time when you wash it and it will last longer all right we'll finish washing it we'll do another water test not a water test today tell you what the paint feels smooth i mean i don't feel no you know if i have to clay it i don't feel it i mean i can always do the the bag test but man it feels nice still okay i'm gonna dry it out for the second time it'll be three times today um what are you guys uh what are you guys getting out of it for um your durability how long is it lasting for you if you guys are using this and are you using the booster products too to boost it their um hybrid solution line you know there's wax and um washing wax i'm sorry and their other sprays and stuff like that and uh to keep you boosted your uh ceramic spray let us know are you use it, are you using a different product to um keep it boosted the uh, the turtle wax for the spray yeah let us know in the comments so we all can uh, read them and get some um, tips from you guys too man it does look nice still all right check it out it looks nice I mean, look at that she's shining pretty good oh you can see it i know that dang sun always blocks my light right there check it out yeah looks good got a nice shine does look nice all right let's do that water test and see if it uh, helped out but man it's clean and the paint's still smooth i know you're not supposed to touch it because it's scratched but oh yeah it's still smooth i'm telling you i don't feel nothing on that hood if i have to clay it i mean that's another thing too you can go by if the product's still working and still there is it keeping uh your stuff off you know like uh if you got to clay it and man that's smooth and like i said the tar that was stuck on the door just washed right off with no effort i mean it was great it was awesome so i mean it could be still there it's just that get the bag trim it's not bad actually a couple spots i feel it right here not too bad well, it's not bad really a couple spots and just a couple spots it needs to be clayed 
Yeah, it's not that bad actually at all. So, all right, here we go. Water test from the soap. That's helped. It has. Look at the bead in there from a bouncing shower. Yeah, it is faster sheeting off now. A little bit faster. All right. What do you guys think? Hope you guys watch the whole video to make a. You guys tell us what you think of it. What do we miss? Let's do. Not bad. Get it out. Put it on the windows. So it did help. All right. That's helped out. Go center. So now it's a little bit faster. Yeah, it is sheeting off faster. Uh, yep. Yeah, sheeting off a lot faster. Look at that. Do it one more time. Yep, all right. All right, yeah, she did off a little faster, so it did help their uh, wash and wax, ceramic wash and wax. So that's it, I think that's it for the test for the ceramic spray. Still make some videos on it when I do some uh, a detail, when I use all their products. I wanna use their um, polish with the ceramics in it too, because we have videos on using it at the junkyard by hand. So I'll have that at the end leak, you guys, if you haven't seen that, check that out. Hopefully I'll see you at that video. And then I'll have um, at the end leak, some videos of the ceramic spray, us applying it in our one month update. We had two coats on it. So it's been a little over three months because the first coat I put on there and then about two weeks after the first coat, two to three weeks after the first coat, I put the second coat on because the weather was raining a lot. And, uh, but that's the results. We'll go, I'm thinking maybe, you know, three to four months, you know, with, with not using the, using a booster in my environment. If you have a cleaner environment, you know what I mean? And like, say if I put this on the truck, you know, the truck's really not exposed to that environment once in a while. Um, this product will last a lot longer. You will get, you know, a lot longer than three to four months out of it. That's my opinion on it anyway. Yeah, a lot longer. And especially if you're using the products that are meant to be used with it to help boost that ceramic spray. But this test was to see how long it lasts without it in my environment from an in industrial environment. That's it, guys. So, yeah, it's, it's still a good product. For industrial environment, it's not going to last that long by itself. You're going to have to use a booster. And if you're in a cleaner environment, you'll get longer life out of it without the booster. But always recommend to use the booster every time you use it. Unless you're doing stuff like this, you want to test the products out and you guys can, uh, you know, do your own tests and see what the results you guys get. And I'm sure you guys do it. And uh, it's just, it's fun. Oops, I stepped on the uh, nozzle. But that's it, guys. All right. So don't forget to comment and new here, subscribe and like and comment. Yeah, we do auto show videos in the Detroit area, stuff videos like this. A lot of detailing videos, car repair videos, some news and stuff like that. But um, I still got some more stuff. I think when it gets uh, trashed again, filthy again, we'll wash it with the ceramic uh, wash and wax and see what it does and see if it cleans it up real well. And then maybe I can, if it's warm out, maybe we can get it in a foam can and too, same video and see how it does. And then after I do that, I got another product I want to test on here. Um, I'll probably do an eye remover and stuff like that. I want to test this other product at F4 on here. I want to see how long it lasts. Um, they're saying it lasts pretty good, you know, on some of the tests, I guess. I've seen on videos. Well, it, we'll see how it lasts. I want to put it on the Dodge Charger and see what it does for the color. And mainly just to see how the gloss on it, what kind of gloss I can get on that. On this, I want to see how long it lasts. So I know I'm going on and on, but you guys, thanks for watching this one. I'll see you at those other videos. You guys have a great one later.